Hello and welcome to my channel. What we have here is another fantastic Joker knife. This one is number NB134. And of course it's made in Spain. Now the difference between this one, it may not be apparent right now, is it's it's bigger than your average Joker knife. It's a little bit bigger than the average uh, kind of, you know, like friction folder. Let's pull out. Here's one in olive wood. And this wood is different. This wood is called Bocate. And I'll put a little thing up there on what it says about Bocate wood. But... I'm trying to get a bigger one out here. There's all the Joker knives that are about like that. That are about like that size. And this one is called, you know, they've all got to have a name, Cocker. Like Cocker Spaniel. I know Jersey's probably got a couple ideas for other names for that. But this is, that's what that is. Let me put these other ones up for a few seconds so we can look at that one. All of you, get in there and stay in there and don't start anything. Alright. So this one can... Uh, has that really nice grain to it. If you look over here, look, it's got a little knot. I like a little knot on it. But I'm going to start looking for that wood for handle material type stuff. And this leather here is uh, just a, a piece of leather, like tooling leather I got. It's like dark brown on one side. But I realized after getting it, just to throw it down here, you know, have a clear space to film, um, that they make a good pad for, you know, displaying your knives and stuff like that. Get back in there. <laughs> you can use the light side for uh, the suede side for doing this, or we can put it on the darker side. See? Huh. Isn't that funny? Well, I don't know if that's funny, but it's entertaining for me. Okay, stop it. I'll put it on the lighter side because it reflects light better. <clears throat> All right, so what we have here, like I said, is some pretty nice wood. It's a lock back on the, on the very back of the lock back here. And it has a very nice drop point blade to it. It's the MOV 14116, which I think is like 448, somewhat like that. Um, nicely done, man. Look at these uh, fancy little pivot caps here, or whatever they are. Pretty cool. Got a good uh, thwack to it when it locks up. A nice transition there. And it's a lock back. The, the main thing that's kind of hard to see in this is the ergonomics on this. It's got a nice, I like a thicker blade in here. You know, a little thicker handle on there. And that's what that one's got on it. It's, let's look at its measurements here. <sighs> I've got this camera set up, so I'm way, way the hell back here. Let me see if I can scoot in. Lean over to do a video. All right, we have a three inch cutting edge. The blade itself is like three and a half inch. The handle, this is be what you'd be grabbing in down here. But the handle is focus, focus, hocus, pocus. 
It came with this leather lanyard thing on. The handle's like four and a half, four and a quarter inches. But if you're holding down here, you're still gonna have plenty of room in your hand. It's not, it's not choking you out. All right. I'm gonna have to go back to that bendy, bendy camera th uh, holder, you know, because it's it's the best one. It can get you at the best angle. Tripods are. They got all their three legs. They want to take up all kinds of space in three dimensions. What's wrong with them? But yeah, it's nicely done. Like I said, it's it's got uh, nice wood, you know, coloration in there and those stripes. I, I had already taken a screenshot, so I'll put up, you know, an, an inlay of or overlay or whatever of uh, what Bucate wood is. South American type of wood. But yeah, it's just got nice grain to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty sharp. Nice clean cut there. Nice clean cut. All right, yeah, it comes with this little leather lanyard thing, which you can't really do it the loop. It's not long enough for you to do it the loop through the thumb and all that other stuff, but you could put your hand through like this. You know, you want to hold it a little bit. Or you can do it on the wrist if you feel like it. But I like the ones that are more secure that it really locks it in your hand. But this is not bad. This is pretty good. If you're wondering if it's got a lanyard hole, it already comes with that in there. Lanyard eyes. All right, so the other, the other type of lanyard thing I had, Toby and family had sent me... Um, some of this bungee cord type of stuff and so that's what i use for this to secure it extra secure if you're worried about it you know flopping out or whatever and you can just pull this back see like this you pull it back like that it's out of the way when your blade comes out you know it's not going to get cut well it might be cut a little bit in that example and then when you want to put this back in you just put it in and then you grab your little knot. I tied it you know like a overhand knot and then one more on top of it but yeah that works pretty well that way so yeah there there you go that's a very another very nice joker knife now let's line him up with with the other jokers here so we'll, and this is not all of the jokers Cause there's more of them up here there's neck knives hiding around and there's a belt knife i really like these joker knives man they're really they're really nice and there's more of these you know little little guys running around i was just using it as a size reference there's the joker pointer right so there you go. As you can see, it's a little bit larger than the rest of the... Oh, we changed colors. <laughs> we changed colors. How do we do that? I don't know. We just touched my arm, my hand, my palm touched that. And said, oh, you want to change colors? Yeah, it's almost um, the, the grain of olive wood, but just slightly different. This one's got a very nice wavy look to it. So does that one. I have more knives to review. Um, I have uh, a channel update I'll do, you know, about the giveaway, which is still going on. If you want to enter into that, just look on the video. I'll, I'll have it linked up here somewhere up in the corner in the card or something like that. Um, for the uh, 1,000 subscriber giveaway. 
which we got going on. And I'll cut that off like Sunday night here, you know, like probably 6 p.m. Central Time, United States, America. That's when I'll cut off the entry for it so that I can do the drawing and the giveaway um, probably later on that night. If not then, then Monday morning. So anyway, there you go. There's your, oh look, there's an, here's an almost a Boris wannabe, but he's got blue, or is that Boris? <laughs> it's not Boris. You, it's, it's no, you're counterfeit Boris. You got to be able to tell your knockoff and your clone Boris is, you know, I am Boris. No, no, you're not going to fool us. Anyway, there you go. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. All right, since it is a lock back, you might as well do a a an advanced over armor stab test. Oh, and I got a, a blowgun that he that he sent me, and man, that thing will go through this stuff. That'll stick in advanced over. Okay, let's see. Get a relatively fresh spot over here. All right, here we go. Oh man, this is a good one. That's a good one. Went on about that far. Oh, oh, oh. Ha, 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 ha. He caved him in. All right, should we do a rib cage? Let's do a rib cage. Oh man. Yeah, this is a good one. This is right up there with that boot knife capability, but it's um, small. You know, foldable. Folds down into a relatively compact package. Check that closed length again. Four and a half inches. Yeah, this feels more like a sodbuster type of uh, heavy duty, you know, like a large sard, <laughs> large, large charge, a large sodbuster type of uh, blade capability there, but yeah, I really like this. I'm impressed with both the wood, the ergonomics of it, the way it feels. It's it's hard to show that, but it has a slight sow belly-ish curve to it. It's more pronounced on the inside when you're holding it. And it just really feels good in the hand. It just really feels, you know, locked in there. And I can't resist. <laughs> oh, I thrust a little extra there, just that last, just to give it some... But you can kind of see how far that went in and that that's pretty good that that's pretty good that's you wouldn't think so just looking at that well there you go i had to throw that little test in there for you safety only on locking blades are we gonna do this